When General Hux gave the order for Starkiller Base to destroy the heavily populated Hosnian system within the core of the galaxy, the result was the death of billions. Having fired Starkiller's superweapon, the First Order atomized the center of the New Republic's power instantly. This sent shockwaves throughout the galaxy that would have important consequences in the coming war against the First Order. Starkiller's superweapon not only literally tore the very fabric of hyperspace, but the destruction of the Hosnian system practically tore the New Republic apart as well. First, it's important to note that in destroying the Hosnian system, the First Order delivered a crippling blow to the New Republic and their political power across the galaxy. Stationed within the Hosnian system was not just the New Republic Senate, the seat of the galactic government, but also its home fleet, including the Republic's top military commanders. In a single shot, the First Order successfully decapitated the New Republic's military. Quite literally, the destruction of the Hosnian system was the cataclysm heard around the galaxy. News that the New Republic Senate and fleet were gone soon spread across the galaxy, sending fear and panic throughout the Republic's member worlds. Almost immediately, seeing no other options to prevent the onslaught of the First Order, member worlds began to surrender to the destroyers of Hosnian Prime. With no home fleet and no Senate, many worlds saw that it would only be a matter of time before the First Order swept across the galaxy, as there was little chance that the remaining systems would be able to hold together. Importantly, although the demonstration of the First Order's power and their willingness to murder billions without hesitation certainly terrified a number of systems into capitulation, the collapse of the New Republic in only a few days can't be completely attributed to the First Order. Although the New Republic grew and successfully established a new order following the fall of the Galactic Empire, it was unable to match the scale and achievements of the Old Republic. For this reason, many worlds were already leaning towards joining the First Order, having been seduced by their promise of security. The destruction of the Hosnian system was the excuse these systems needed to take the final step of leaving the New Republic. Understanding they left the members of the New Republic reeling after the order was given to destroy the Hosnian system, the First Order believed that the war was as good as won. From the First Order's perspective, all that remained was to clean up the last vestiges of the Resistance and hunt down and kill Luke Skywalker. Then, the First Order could merely claim their rightful position as rulers of the galaxy. But let me know if you liked how the First Order was presented in The Last Jedi, and what you believe we'll see take place in Episode 9 regarding the war with the New Republic and Resistance against the First Order. You can find us over on Twitter, at SW Reading Club, and if you enjoy our work, please think about supporting the channel through Patreon for access to exclusive hangouts and book discussions. Thank you for watching everyone, and as always, may the Force be with you.